the magical time called Christmas is upon us once again. For fuck's sake. Sorry, not my fault. I guess we're just going to have to make the best of it. It's a time where we celebrate the birth of a little bloke that we nailed to a cross whilst eating pies that taste like a fucking shoe all gathered together with family members that you can barely fucking tolerate whilst listening to Christmas music sung by that nice fella that kept getting arrested for sucking geezers off in public toilets. I never understood Christmas tradition either if I'm honest. I'm starting to suspect that this cynical and rampant consumerism might not actually be the worst part. But at least we got Christmas porn to show for it. That was nice. Kind of strange that the best thing I personally got out of the great creator manifesting an extension of himself in corporeal form so he could sojourn with humanity is that I get to watch porno of girls dressed up like elves getting banged by Santa. I like elves. In a wrong way. Not that one. It's actually quite comforting to know that some Santas actually like grown women. I was beginning to worry about him to be honest. He breaks into people's homes at night, sneaks around the children's bedrooms and spies on them to see if they are naughty or nice. Sounds like a pedo to me. I had a growing concern that Santa had sacked the North Pole altogether and was hanging out on Epstein's Island and we wouldn't want him getting suicided now would we? Christmas is a time where we get to celebrate the death or birth, can't remember, of the baby Santa or Jesus born in a manger which I think is a cow toilet to his biological birthing person and chest feeding non-binary caregiver, Mary. Not sure what her pronouns were but if they in any way refer to her being a virgin I'm immediately calling fucking bullshit on that. There has to be a Roe vs Wade joke in here somewhere but if I cracked it then that would just trigger everyone. But take some Christmas cheer from the fact that I was at least considering it. Luckily this Christmas I have yet again managed to carve out my own little slice of heaven. I have my favourite MRE. Meal ready to eat number 14. Fluorescent green creamy fettuccine style slurry with chilled almonds lightly dusted in salt and bromide. Mmm, yummy. All professionally presented on my metal prison tray with a bottle of the finest rum that I could find at the corner shop for under 12 quid. It's going to taste like piss diluted brake fluid but I'm sure the pain will be self moderating. 2022 has indeed been a very strange year. A year where I've finally got to see the fruits of my labour pay off. In as much as all the crazy crackpot tinfoil hat conspiracy theories I've been peddling all finally turned out to be absolutely true. The World Economic Forum really are fucking up all of our video games. Social media is entirely infiltrated by the FBI and the CIA. The government did collude with big tech to influence the US elections. And Keffels, the trans communist doxing woke tard hate mongering twitch streamer got busted in 4k and it turns out that she's been on the payroll of mainstream corporate media all along. Now that is a fantastic Christmas present. Finding out that one of the biggest communist activists on the internet is actually an employee of a giant media corporation hired as a shill to cancel people on demand. Brilliant! 2022 was the year where the term groomer was officially classified as a pejorative because in clown world fingering kids in the bum is apparently now considered to be a protected status. Although I'm sure that this is somehow connected to Prince Andrew, his royal grooming highness, Prince Bumfingerer of York. In 2022 I even learned a few things about childcare. Babies are fucking racists. Who would have known? Another portion of the book. They recommend to babies confess when being racist. I always thought kids were shady. 
but this just confirmed that I was right to dump them all off outside the hospital in a cardboard box. I think at this point it's safe to say that Western civilization is descending into the toilet bowl of degeneracy and social self-destruction, faster than the Witcher TV series. But maybe this is the way things need to be. Before clarity comes confusion, and perhaps this is precisely the chaos we have to experience in order to coalesce the fragmented parts of our societies and reform them into a new and better world. Plus, it's always funny watching shit fall apart. No, seriously, it is. Don't kid yourself. It's hilarious watching everything turn to shit. It's human nature. It's like when you're watching war footage on YouTube. Everyone always scans forward to the bit where the guy gets his head blown off. You've done it. Don't pretend you haven't done that. Chaos, disorder and human suffering is entertainment. Especially when it's our own. It is our society after all, so we of all people are allowed to laugh at it. Everyone else around the globe is. But all this aside, at least we got to play some brilliant games in 2022. Like, uh, struggling a bit here actually. Uh, yeah, hmm. Deep Rock Galactic, Elden Ring. And that one with the kittens. Didn't play it. Looked boring. Hate kittens. The fur gets stuck in my teeth. Fingers crossed for 2023, when hopefully we will get six days in Fallujah, Harry Potter's Hogwarts Legacy, and probably a few other games that I will support based solely on the fact that idiots are trying to cancel them. Therefore, I will defend them. Oh, and how could I possibly forget? Starfield. <clears throat> but before I head off to chow down on my self-heating, semi-toxic food paste, drink my rum and find a nice cosy spot to piss myself and fall asleep, I just wanted to say thank you and convey my heartfelt gratitude to all of you for following the channel, watching my filth and putting up with my shit. Your stoic support continues to humble me. To everyone who supports me on Patreon, past, present and future, thank you for paying the bills and keeping the lights on. Your financial, spiritual and technical support keeps this operation rolling down the hill of corporate malfeasance and corruption, and I am in your debt. There is a large pile of empty bottles in the kitchen which stands as a literal monument to your support. I would also like to thank all of you who watch the channel and welcome the new subscribers who have joined this year. I'm confident this was only one of many piss poor life choices you made in 2022, but I'm glad you made it nevertheless. Many thanks to all of you who feed me intel, give me insights, let me know about developments in the gaming world, both good news and bad. I frequently convince people that I am well informed and knowledgeable by passing off this information as my own. Thank you for making me look smarter than I really am. Christ, I even have some channel supporters that are literally breeding subscribers for me. Although at the risk of seeming slightly ungrateful, I need about another 949,000 for my little gold plaque. So get to work. Chop fucking chop. I would also like to convey my heartfelt apologies to any of you that I have treated with less respect and consideration than you rightly deserve. I know there are people waiting for me to get back to them, reply to their messages and frankly, for me to show at least the minimum courtesy, which I frequently fail to do. I am sorry that I am so shit at comms and terribly disorganised. And I have to own that. Similarly, I am sorry if any of your comments have been vanished from the channel. I don't control that. Seriously, I switch off all those filters and try wherever possible to never censor any comment on the channel. But sadly, Susan Schwab Wajiki keeps shuffling around in the comments section, dumping things in the held for review section and then only notifying me about it many months later. If your comments ever disappear from the comments section, there is some small consolation that it wasn't me doing it. They were eaten by the internet and sadly that is beyond either of our control. So just in case the bombs start dropping, the World Economic Forum decides to carbon tax the internet, 
or something more mundane happens. Like Ubisoft actually manages to assassinate me. I would just like to take this opportunity to thank you all for your ongoing support of this channel. It means more than you know. Oh, and since we're on the subject, if you ever hear that I have been suicided, please don't believe it. Not that I think they'll ever be able to pull it off. I can't even reach the fucking ceiling. And I'm a fat fuck. So unless they send a whole team of about eight guys, they're never going to be able to lift me up high enough to Epstein me from the lampshade. Not that it will support my weight. I should really shut the fuck up now. There is no doubt some community manager watching and taking notes as I speak. Bring ten guys. A hospital bed lift. One of those reinforced chandeliers from Argos just in case. And a very, very strong belt. I'm actually starting to appreciate how Elon Musk must feel. Okay, that's possibly an exaggeration, because this channel has not been entirely infiltrated by the FBI and I don't have an entire cohort of ex-CIA agents working for me. Yeah, they really are going to Epstein Elon Musk, aren't they? But despite the world turning to ratchet in a paper cup, video games turning into online interactive training courses for communist degeneracy, and resigning ourselves to the fact that the next Far Cry game will probably only release on mobile, we should take solace from the fact that at least we get to laugh at all this shit. Because we kept our sanity, maintained our perspective, so we can see what is going on, and we have not let ourselves be assimilated. So worry ye not, my brethren, I am still quietly confident that one day soon there will be a reckoning, and we will finally get to have the last laugh. So Merry Christmas, you scurvy scum, and may you enjoy this miserable fucking time of year once again, whether you are spending Christmas alone, or having it entirely fucking ruined by having to spend it with family, please accept my heartfelt yuletide message of misery and fucking cynicism. Whoever you are, and wherever you may be, please know that I am thinking of you. Well, I'd better fuck off and make some breakfast. That bottle of port isn't going to open itself. Cheap port. Breakfast of champions. It was apparently Shane McGowan's favourite drink for years, and it worked out just fine for him. But for now, good luck, and merry fucking Christmas.